To make this do-it-yourself cement rocket stove for an off-grid hot tub heater, I used a mix of Portland cement, sand, and perlite that I sloshed around into a bucket mold. I lined it and extended the bucket's height with some scrap cardboard, and I displaced the chimney and channel areas with some cardboard, foam, and duct tape. All right, I probably should have done the mold and shown you guys how I put the copper tube in the bucket and displace my chimney and my chambers, but I didn't. So I'm just going to kind of doodle it. <laughs> All right, so we got our cylinder shape, right? And inside of it now, I'm going to have a chimney coming out the top, and the chimney's going to go down in the inside of the tube, right? To a place where... It's going to fork up and come to an angle. Oops, I guess those should be dotted. And then it's going to come out a door here. And then there's also a little air chamber here. Just for a little letting some air in to the bottom. Okay. So to build that, I really need to have something in the inside of my bucket that looks about like this. Right? So that you displace where the cement goes. And I made this out of a roll of, car of cardboard. And I put in some foam forms right here. And duct taped it all together. And, uh, and then I took a copper tube. And I had one end come out here. And the tube went around, just right around my form here. It came around around and around 20 feet of copper tubing comes around and then when it got near the top I stuck it back out the side there and this all went into a bucket I'm gonna turn it upside down so I had this thing going and I put it into a bucket and the bucket was about like this But this tube was going to get stuck in there, so I had to cut a slit in the bucket so I could slide that tube out at the end. Uh, the cardboard made it really easy to slide the form out of the bucket. I cut a slit so my copper tube had a way I had to slide out when I took the mold off. I used a little spare packing foam and cardboard to raise some bolts off the chimney top for a pan to rest on without blocking the exiting airflow little bolts so that coming out of the top of this thing you could put a pan on top of a finished rocket stove and the air could still sneak out and go under so those also were put into place in the mold so that they would be halfway in the cement right All right, so if you're building one of these and you're gonna shape it, you wanna do it while it's wet. I did this and then stopped and then thought I could come back and file in a handle here 
and a fit handle here. But it turns out grabbing it there and there, that's pretty good. Um, or here, that's pretty good too. Anyway, now I'm waiting for it to cure. And so while I'm waiting, I built a little, uh, another mold here. Um, I made a little handle. This is going to be my little blocker. Uh, should go right in here. So I'm just in this mode while I'm waiting for this thing to cure. You gotta wait for about a month, really, before you fire up some heat in here. If I put heat in here, uh, you can crack it because there's still moisture in here and when you heat that up, it's got nowhere to go. Um, so you can crack it. So I'm just letting this thing dry. I did try and shape it, like I said. I got these little bolts here. They look a little funky, but really, they're perfectly squared the way I did it. So that'll be a nice little spacer um, for a pot or something. I also thought that this was kind of narrow, how much my angled area to come up here and to, for wood to be fed. I think I might add something like this a grate of metal so I could have longer sticks in there. I'm not quite sure how that'll go. And I'm also working on how to attach some PEX heated tubing to come off of here. Playing with some of these different attachments. Not sure quite how they're going to work. Uh, but just stuff to do while I'm waiting for this to cure. All right, got all the plumbing done. She's cured for about 27 days, I don't know. But down in hard over there, there's still a whole lot of, like, I don't know, just futz. I got to burn out there for my mold. Some uh, duct tape, uh, uh, leftover cardboard. Anyway, I'm gonna um, just burn that out, so I thought I'd give you a peek while I do. If I were to do it again, I'd probably use a half-inch coil instead of that quarter-inch because I had to do all this sort of jerry-rigging to get the piping out the other side. I did more plumbing than I wanted to, and with a half-inch coil, uh, I think that'd be a lot easier. I'd also probably mold this thing on site because the only damage I got to it was having it on the back of the trailer bouncing around the bumpy road. It might have cracked a little there. And once it cracks a little, if water gets in there and then it refreezes, the whole thing can come apart. Um, I don't think it was from drying or heating it up too fast. I think it was really just from having it on the back of the trailer bouncing around. water all the way through those tubes. Uh, this tube comes in and coils around this chimney and it, uh, it's 20 feet of copper tubing right through there. So I'm hoping this fire that's reading 681 high um, will do good things to this water and heat it up. I'll keep you posted.
I might do a shorter chimney next time so I wouldn't have to extend it so high with the extra cardboard out the top. Um, I might even scooch it back so that my channels going to the chimney had a little more room for sticks and to be a better angle. Um, maybe I'd make a bigger base bottom. I feel like I ran out of cement at the end and just kind of barely covered up my bottom chamber. So it might break mm -hmm. through there somehow if it ever had a okay. place to fail. I thought the bottom was a little thin. In here it's three, what is it, 260? The tube itself now is coming in at 150, 940. And 10, 106, 103. The little tube, the white tube, is it? Well, it varies from. This water isn't circulating very well, though. It's getting warm. You can see the water's just bubbling up and down in the tube. It's not really making it all the way through and circulating. It's having trouble.